فصل في الحث على طلب العلم والعمل والتعليم واطلب علوم الدين وارجع إلى اليقين فالعلم قوت القلب الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المسلمين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد uh, welcome to the second lesson from the book of fasting from كتاب سفينة النجاة ship of salvation uh, إن شاء الله today we are going to read the conditions of a valid fast Uh, these conditions we are going to talk about the person who is valid from them their fast we are not going to talk about the fast itself but rather the person who is going to fast who is it valid from so uh, this um, in this chapter inshallah we are going to read it says fasl and shurut sihati arba'atu ashya إسلام وعقل ونجاة عن حيض عن نحو حيض وعلم بكون الوقت قابلا للصوم. so the conditions for valid fast are four: Islam, soundness of mind, purity from حيض menstruation, and number four knowledge of its appropriate time. so the conditions for a valid fast are four: this, like I said, the condition of a valid fast. Now, this is not the conditions of uh, the fast becoming compulsory, so it could be different, huh? uh, 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 which inshallah we are going to read in a later chapter. Uh, it could be that a fast is valid from a person, but it is not compulsory for that person. It could also be that the fast is compulsory for a person, but it's not valid from that person. It could be the fast is compulsory for that person and also valid from that person but the fasting itself is invalid because uh, there is something missing from the conditions of the fasting itself. Uh, so today inshallah we are going to read the first condition of a valid fast is Islam. So uh, anyone So it is a condition that a person must be Muslim for the fast to be valid. If the person is not Muslim, whether he is originally a, a, a disbeliever, not Muslim, kafir, or the person is um, the person is an apostate, murtad, he was a Muslim, then he became not Muslim. Uh, so the fast is not valid. And uh, the difference is if the person is originally is not a muslim then he have he does not have to make up for that fast for example he have been living for yeah, uh, a few decades and then he became a muslim he does not have to make up for all those decades that he missed uh, being a non muslim but however the person who is a, an apostate he have to make up for all the days that he missed while being a non muslim because he was a muslim earlier on so it is compulsory for him huh? Sorry, Afwan, but this is, we are talking about the validity of it. Huh? So, the second part is soundness of mind. Haglon, tamam. Soundness of mind, uh, which means the person have to be sane or have to be, uh, we say, uh, a discerning person. He can, the, the person can discern, uh, differentiate. Uh, the ulama said, what is this discernment? which means the person can, uh, the, a child for example, can eat by himself, drink by himself and cleanse himself. This is a, a child who have reached the age of discernment. So once the child have reached the age of discernment, then it is valid for him to fast. Although if he have not reached the age of puberty, it is not compulsory for him. But his fast is valid and accepted and is a praiseworthy action. Tamam. He will get rewarded for it. Huh? And... Um, Uh, when we say the person is insane, 
we are referring to a person who is medically insane rather than for example someone who is insane because of extreme anger or because of extreme happiness joy uh, it is not uh, this is not what we are what we are referring to we are we are referring to someone who is medically insane otherwise insanity there are mashallah many types of insanity eh? uh, a person who uh, uh, is in love eh? uh, is insane if, if, a, if a person is uh, comes out from his house not knowing where his uh, where his goal or where he wants to go this is this person is insane uh, if uh, it's a type of insanity and eh? even a youngster eh? a young man also they say being young it's a type of insanity. Yeah? Uh, they say also that yeah, uh, 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 insanity can be caused by certain things. Like for example, uh, we know yeah, the story of Majnoon Layla because of love. Huh? Also because of sleeping at the, uh, during Asar time. Huh? So they say if you sleep in Asar during Asar time for 40 days straight, then uh, it can cause insanity one alim said this once and then one guy tried to challenge and uh, tried to uh, um, and he tried to uh, challenge and say that uh, this is not true to dispute this huh? so he went and slept for 40 days straight during asar time after 40 days he went to this alim's house and knocked on the door and he said to the alim look i want to show you that it's not true what you said about being crazy when you uh, becoming crazy if you sleep for 40 days straight during asar time so the alim said how do you explain this coming to my house in the middle of the night half naked and then <laughs> you tell me this, this isn't this insanity itself so if a person is uh, does not have soundness of mind then it is not valid for that person to fast also applies to a person who fainted uh, or is intoxicated but the difference is that for those who uh, fainted or is intoxicated if it is if they did it on purpose then they have to also make up for the fast however the person who had uh, a bout of insanity then uh, he, they don't have to uh, pay or make up for that fast huh? however sleeping Sleeping, even if the person slept from subuh until maghrib time, this is not insanity. This is not. Uh, we, we don't say that there is no soundness of mind. No, it, there is soundness. Only that the body is uh, numb, so uh, the soundness of mind is there, and therefore the fast is valid. Uh, but however, he missed all the action. Uh, uh, for the one who uh, is uh, crazy, uh, insane, even if it is just for a short while, um, just he became insane for just a short while, also uh, we say that um, uh, he, the, the, the fast is not valid. The fast becomes invalid, even if it's just for a short while. I mean, some people, they, they might become crazy for an hour, a day, some people might be crazy for a day in a year, for a week in a year, for six months maybe in a year. Some people are like that. And then another six months they are fine. Um, there was this guy, one time Al-Hajjaj bin Yusuf, a famous tyrant. Uh, he went to the market, disguised. So when he went to the market, uh, he met a guy and he told the guy, what do you think about Al-Hajjaj bin Yusuf? himself but the guy did not know him so the guy said oh Hajjaj bin Yusuf is a terrible person horrible person uh, he's a tyrant he is an oppressor and so on and so and so and bad things so the guy said so the so Hajjaj bin Yusuf said what if I told you that I am a Hajjaj bin Yusuf so he said oh Amir al-Mu'minin uh, if you know me I in a year I have one day that I become insane Every year, I, there is one day that I become insane, and most probably it is today. Yani. So Al Hajjaj bin Yusuf forgave him, he said, I forgive him because of his good answer. <laughs> so, uh, so, soundness of mind is a condition, 
And the third condition is وَنَغَاءٌ عَنْ نَحْوِ حَيْضٍ نَغَاءٌ عَنْ نَحْوِ حَيْضٍ which means purity from حيض and similar. تمام. So, uh, for a woman, for her fast to be valid, she must not be in her period. If she is in her period, then her fast is not valid. In fact, it is uh, it is haram, prohibited for her to fast. Because this is uh, uh, azima, not rosa, uh, which means it's not allowed for her to not fast, but rather she uh, her fast itself is not valid. So by fasting, it becomes a sin. Because she is doing an ibadah, she, an act of worship, that is invalid. So, um, fasting for a woman who is during her menstruation is uh, invalid uh, and prohibited uh, unless she does not, she does it without any intention. I mean, if there's a woman who says that she's in a, in a food diet or something and then she does not eat, so therefore her fast is uh, ex- uh, her, it's not really a fast. It's just a diet or something and it's not... Uh, sinful is allowed, but her fast, if she wants to fast, is in, is not valid. And similar to hayd is uh, similar to hayd is nifas, and also uh, nifas, which is the blood that comes from uh, after childbirth, and also uh, wilada, which is childbirth itself. This is similar to hayd. So if a woman during she, she, while she is fasting during the day. And then suddenly her period started, so her fast automatically becomes invalid. Or she gives birth in the day, her fast automatically becomes invalid. Tamam. So this is the third condition of a valid fast. The fourth condition of a valid fast, ilmun bikaunil wakti gabilan lisaum, knowledge of its appropriate time. And the whole year is an appropriate time for fasting, except for five days. Five days, the first day of uh, Shawwal, which is Eid al-Fitr, and uh, the tenth day of Dhul Hijjah, which is Eid al-Adha, and Ayyam al-Tashriq, which is, which is the eleventh, twelfth, and thirteenth of Dhul Hijjah, the, day, the three days after Eid al-Adha. These days, it is prohibited, it's, it is uh, totally prohibited to fast. Uh, it's a day of Eating and drinking, Rasulullah said. Uh, so it is not allowed to fast in these five days. And additional to these five days is Yawm Shak, the day of doubt, which inshallah we will explain more in later lessons. Uh, and also the second half of Sha'ban, which means the 16th and, uh, and above uh, from Sha'ban. So the second half, it is not allowed to fast. Um, the second half of Sha'ban, unless it is attached, it is continued from the first half. So I'm fasting the 15th, for example, the 14th, the 15th, and then I want to continue. I can continue on the 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th. Once I stop, I cannot continue again. I stopped on the 20th, I cannot fast on the 21st. Uh, and this is only if, there is, if it is without a valid reason. Uh, valid reason is uh, the valid reasons for fasting in the second half of Sha'ban includes uh, gada. You have a uh, you want to make up fasting. You missed fasting from previous year, for example, and you want you want to make it up now on the second half of second half of Sha'ban. You are allowed. Huh? Also, if it is kafara expiation, uh, you have to uh, make kafara because. For example, you, you did uh, intercourse in Ramadan, the past Ramadan, or while, while fasting. Or you, did, or you uh, uh, swear on doing something and you did not do it. So the kafara, you have to fast. So for, for this, you are allowed to fast in the second half of Ramadan. Uh, I mean the second half of Shaban. Or another, you vow. For example, if you pass your examination, you, want to pass, you, want, you are going to fast three days. So you uh, pass your examination on the 16th of Sha'ban, for example. Now you have to uh, fulfill your vow 
which is three days fasting, so you can uh, fulfill it during the second half of Shaban. Um, also, if, it, if there is an Ada or Wird, Wird which is a practice. So, for example, I am used to fast uh, uh, every Monday to fasting on Mondays and Thursdays every week. So, even in the second half of Shaban, I can still fast on Mondays and Thursdays because this is my practice. So, these are allowed during the second half of Shaban. The first five days that I mentioned, which is Eid al-Fatr, Eid al-Adha, and the three days of Tashrik, 11, 12, and 13 of Dhul-Hijjah, this is totally not allowed to fast during this way, uh, these days. Even with a valid reason, eh? Wallahu alam. with these four conditions, uh, the person who is fasting, uh, uh, the fast for a person, it becomes valid. Without uh, missing any of these conditions, then the person is not allowed to fast or it's not valid for, for that person uh, to fast. Eh? Uh, uh, wa billahi tawfiq wal hidayah wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alhamdulillah rabbil alameen